What's up, peeps? Thanks for joining me. My name is David Warren, and this is Day One Tech. Today, I'm going to be talking about camera cages or phone cages. These uh, two that I'm going to show you are from newer. Uh, this first one is about ten dollars, depending on when you buy it. it ranges anywhere from thirteen to ten dollars. Uh, the basic idea is that you take your phone when you're recording, slide it in there, and you can hold your phone like this. Gives you a nice steady, secures your phone in using this turn right here. This one, the grip's not that wide. So as you can see, it's an iPhone 12 and it rarely grips onto the phone. But it does have the cold shoe and the quarter 20s on the top. So here's your three cold shoes, right? You got one on the bottom and you got this one on the side. And then they, with this, you also get this nice little handle that comes out. So you can take the handle out there and then put it into the bottom. This is all plastic. All right. And it's got this wheel so you can position it. And now you can use it like that. So if you're shooting, you got it like that for video or taking photos. Doesn't have it on the bottom, but it does have it on the side of the handle and it's only on the one side. So it can only go on this side. And then you got this right here. That's this one. And this is not a sponsored video. This is just me showing you different pieces of equipment I'm using. This is really good if you're doing some hand holding shots. All right. Now I'm gonna show you the new one I got from Newer. Same basic idea. Now this one runs about $23. Gives you the same basic idea. You get a strap with it. And this one I really like. I'm gonna show you what the difference is, right? Cause you're looking at the differences of about $10. First on the sides, you got these rounded grips. That's really nice. I like, like that. It's also got the same idea for locking your phone in. So slide the phone in there. Now you notice the grips go out a, lo a lot wider to hold the phone. So the phone will go in there nice. Crank, I like this idea of the crank. Just to show you, that was the first one. This is the first one. This is the second one. Just having it do that, it's a lot better. This is all you really get with the cage. You got these straps right here. Here's your quarter, quarter, cold shoe, cold shoe, cold shoe. On the bottom, three quarters. And then you got one on the side. And on the bottom, two cold shoes, three quarters. And that's basically it on that one. So you don't have the side ones. You got one side one. So I can get a handle. I can use this handle into the side, or I can use it on the bottom. So if I want to do something like this, now I got a nice grip right there. It keeps it nice and steady. So I can shoot like that, and then I can grip it. And if I'm doing something down low, there, but it gives you a steadier shot using a cage like this. There's two different camera cages. You can put your lights up here. That's what the code shoes are for. You can put your audio set up, your microphones, all your hookups can go on this and then put it into your tripod and up your video quality. If you got any questions about these, leave them in the comments. I'll put the links for both of these in the description. It's not a sponsored video, just wanted to share with you the difference between these. If you're thinking about getting one of these, when you're spending the difference of $10, what's the difference? And what are their uh, use cases? What, what are you gonna use it for? All right, till next video, remember, take care of each other, peace out, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.